Hello, this is Mark. I have received a mail from my good friends on YouTube asking me to do a clip about how to um, use our Macs, I mean, more effectively and more carefully. Uh, he asked my opinion about how to, um, you know, be fully functional for the full gear of accessory to protect our Mac. Okay. Um, concerning his four topics, his name was uh, Mr. Niall Macwells or something. Okay, uh, firstly, let me clarify something. <clears throat> Apple doesn't make any accessory. Okay, and some might say, Mark, you were wrong. I saw the a number of accessories like uh, the carrying case for the iPad. I saw the carrying case for iPhone, the limited edition or something. But to be perfectly honest, from my experience, um, these accessories that were made by Apple, I think they are meant to be produced or to be kept just for a collection pieces reason for some reason because uh, there are a wider selection from any of those non-Apple or third-party companies like Incase or Belkin or Capdesk or a number of companies, okay? So let me have a close. Okay, in order to, uh, I have asked a number of, I got friends as Apple engineers and we had Sometimes we had a meetings and then we discussed about good accessories that we should put in the Macs or something. I think the, the best accessory that a customer from Mac should be going to buy supposed to be the Apple Care Protection Plan Extended Warranty. Because um, for instance, I bought a films, protective films from Power Support, very expensive anti-glare films. And I put that films on my screens. Okay, okay, I bought a MacBook Pro 15 inch and after six months I found dead pixel line on the screen. Okay, and they have to change the whole panels. Okay. So I have to lose my frames also because they won't give me back another piece of power supports and the glass frames on the screen. Just a brief example. So the thing is, but you don't have to be hurt because um for I know Mr. Macwell, you are a college student, right? So um Probably you, you don't have to buy the Apple Care protection plan today. You have one year to gather your monies and go to the Apple stores and reconsider to buy the Apple Care. The Apple Care protection plan will prolong from one year of warranty up to three years. Okay. And um, secondly, I think it depends on your lifestyle, depending on your lifestyle, because, like, for instance, you always drink something all the time when you're working, so you might consider buying the um, silicone cover for the for the keyboard because you might accidentally pour any liquid onto your main boards so because any physically caused damages or liquid will not be covered by the existing warranty even though you bought the Apple Care protection part it will not be covered so you might want to buy the keyboard cover if you already drink something okay or if you just bought the MacBook 13 inch but you really don't like the way the glossy screen looks you might want to get the um, anti glare screen, but the Apple doesn't provide options in order to change the screens from 13 inch regular glosses to anti glare. You might consider buying the anti glare frames from Power Supports or other brands and put on your from Elecom or something to put on your screen. So that's fine. If you because there are two different types of Mac user. If you want to do things for graphics or playing games or watching video or something, you might need a glossy one because it's more crisp or more vivid and okay. It's brighter, it gives you more dimensions to see the things, the things look real. But if you are an accountant, you are a writer, if you want to do some research or something web all day long, you may not like the glossy screen because it costs too much glare comes to your eyes and you have a pain in your eye in a very short period of time and the glossy screen sometimes is not so good for your eye size hell so that is depending on you okay about but I would suggest firstly well keyboard cover is fine but you may you may have to think about the um, uh, and the glass frames for the screen but I think a must buy is the Apple Care protection plan and lastly you might want to buy the um, carrying hard cases like the one from Incase or the one from um, Spec See Through or something, uh, they are good, but they cost more weight. Okay, uh, they weigh roughly or 0.2 kilograms. Okay, so but you can change the color for the um, 
fashion reason or something. So that might be great. And let's have a look. Um, he asked me about how to transport a map. Uh, that's a very good question. That's a very, very good question. Uh, lots of people, I mean, sometimes people keep their Macs when they travel. They keep their Mac in the trunk, okay, on the backs of the car, which is not so good for that ways of carrying things like this expensive computer. I would suggest you should take care of your Mac as the Mac is a human. Okay, like for instance, you have another human with you. Will you put that human body in the trunk because the guy is dead? No, because he might want the Mac to get some fresh air from the air conditioning, right? So that's the bottom line. Okay, I would suggest to carry a Mac, put it in the back seat, not in, not in the trunk, okay, and give it some air condition, some lower temperature. Because, uh, you know what, the most important concern or the most important consideration among laptop user, if you're a Mac user, is the high temperature. Why? Because if you read the manual, the user manual, lots of people tend to throw the manual instructions to the trash. But if you read it truly, you will see the Apple. Apple have written one specific rule. Okay? The operating temperature should not exceed 35 Celsius degree. So you should not leave your Mac in your car that has been parked under direct sunlight during summertime because the battery life will be shortened permanently, not just temporarily, but permanently. Like for instance, the capacity of the lithium polymer of the MacBook wise, it might last from the factory up to 10 hours on a single charge, but you, you've you been leaving it in your, probably, um, in your cars or in, in your whatever, in anywhere, in your gyms or anywhere is very hot for a very long period of times, you know, several times, you might get probably three to four hours left in the future because if you lose the cell of the battery will start to die. Okay? So a, com a machine, a Mac is like a human. Okay? It has a life, it has a cell in that. So we should love it. It has eyes and everything. Okay? But don't buy the cooling stand because it doesn't help much because there's no fans underneath. The fans, uh, in terms of Mac's laptop, we have two types of fan. The fans that has been located underneath the keyboard set and the fan that has been located around the, the lid of the screen. Okay, the, uh, if you uh, take a close look at the joints between the lid, the screens, and also the processor, you will see a fans right there inside that area. Okay, so this is, a, I think it's a very good question. Okay, you might get something. And uh, lastly, he asked me about the um, overheating and how to make it cool for a laptop. Uh, in terms of that desktop computer, we don't have to really concern about this issue so much. But for a laptop, apart from should not expose it to over 35 Celsius degree environment, um, I would suggest you should not put any keyboard cover on that if you seem concerned about this topic so much. And I would not suggest people to to run Windows using any virtual machines application like Parallels or VMware Fusions if their primary concern is the overheating. Okay, because when when we we use an applications like um, the um, fans indicator or something, the the application allow us to indicate the the spinning speed of the fans when we run parallel desktops and windows speed of the fans might increase up to six hundred six thousand rpm or seven thousand rpm so the thing is uh, I would suggest you use bootcam to to run windows on your Mac you switch one at a time but if you run windows on your Mac using virtual PC like parallel desktop or VM Fusion these types of application might cost you um, overheating condition but it doesn't mean these types of virtual PCs are not good they are very very good but it's depending on how you plan on using it if you want to play games like 3D games like Call of Duty using it it might be overheat 
But if you just want to open another window to check your Outlook mail, or if you want to open another window to check your stock market or something, that's fine. Okay, as I said earlier, it's depending on how do you plan on using your computer for. Okay, so you might get something from my clips, okay? I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Alex um, Maxwell. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, I'm sorry, but I didn't spell it right. And uh, if any of my friends that been keeping up with my clips might have any questions, you can send directly to me and I'm going to do a clip just for you. Or we can contribute these clips to other people, okay? They might have the same topics as your concern. Thanks for watching.